troubleshooting and fixing motor overloads, a step-by-step -step guide. Understanding motor overloads. Motor overloads are a common issue in industrial and commercial settings. They occur when a motor draws excessive current, often due to heavy loads, mechanical problems, or electrical faults. Recognizing and addressing overloads promptly is crucial to prevent equipment damage, downtime, and safety hazards. How to identify a motor overload? Visual inspection. Look for signs like burnt insulation, smoke, or unusual noises. Temperature check. Feel the motor casing for excessive heat. Overheating is a common indicator of overload. Circuit breaker trips. If the circuit breaker protecting the motor frequently trips, it might be a sign of an overload. Motor performance. A motor struggling to perform its usual tasks or running slower than normal could be experiencing overload. How to reset a motor overload? Locate the overload relay. It's usually a small, rectangular device mounted on or near the motor. Identify the reset button. It's typically a red or black button labeled, reset. Press the reset button. Once you have located the button, press it firmly to reset the overload relay. Monitor the motor. After resetting, observe the motor for any unusual behavior. If the overload persists, further troubleshooting is necessary. How to test a motor overload? Use a multimeter. Measure the current draw of the motor while it's running. Compare the reading to the motor's rated current. If it's significantly higher, an overload is likely. Check for faulty components. Inspect the motor, overload relay, and associated wiring for any visible damage or loose connections. Consult the manufacturer's manual. Refer to the motor's documentation for specific troubleshooting guidelines and recommended procedures. Preventive measures. Regular maintenance. Conduct routine inspections and maintenance to identify potential problems early. Proper sizing. Ensure that the motor is adequately sized for the intended load. Quality components. Use high quality components to reduce the risk of failures. Environmental factors. Consider the environmental conditions where the motor operates, as extreme temperatures or humidity can contribute to overloads. Conclusion. By following these steps and implementing preventive measures, you can effectively troubleshoot and address motor overloads, minimizing downtime and ensuring the efficient operation of your equipment.